Hey guys, Brian Miller here with my Fast Five selection Saturday, October 15th, 2022. I don't know how fast it'll be because I might be bitching and moaning and maybe giving out extra picks more than the five. But um, let's start off with just two picks quick right away here. I'm going to take BYU Cougars on the money line yesterday. I think they were plus one and a half. Now they're, I think they're laying one and a half, but I would just play them on the money line. Uh, Going against Arkansas, who's 0-5-1 following an ATS loss and 0-4 uh, last four games in October. I just think uh, Arkansas started off hot, and these are the games. Uh, this is BYU's opportunity at an SEC team. I think uh, they're going to get it done. They've played one hell of a schedule. I think they've played, what, Baylor, Oregon, uh, played some real tough games, and I think uh, they get it done here. Play number two, this is an early one. I'm going to take the Michigan Wolverines lay in the seven points. I just think this really, really looks odd. I think they're begging you to take Penn State here. Remember, Penn State is off that uh, bye week. Uh, or they had an extra week to prepare for this one. Michigan, it seems like seven is a lot. But I think uh, this is a statement win for Michigan. They want to get into that top uh, uh, top four grouping. I think they're going to really just crush Penn State today. I would lay the seven points. Uh, guys, plenty more free picks just around the corner. Yesterday, two and one day on the premiums. I dropped my titanium play. I really believe I should have had it with SMU. Navy, uh, how often do you see them drive 80 yards for a touchdown with no timeouts? Uh, just uh, either SMU let them score or they just, you know, they just didn't care. But today's a new day and I absolutely love this titanium play. I'm uh, last uh, f uh, three Saturdays, just absolutely uh, knocking it out of the park. Uh, 12 and four last three Saturdays, uh, 18 and nine run overall in college football, 67% winners. So get on over there. Also have my square dance and three pack that does not include that $15 play. It includes the AAC game conference game of the year. I also have a play in major league baseball. You can buy singly or in NHL where I've won three straight games. So uh, maybe the best deal is just to get that three-day pass for $95. Just uh, to have seven total premium picks today. I'm going to have uh, at least three NFL tomorrow and probably the uh, uh, extra plays on top of that. So make sure you guys check it out. Uh, and before I get into more free picks, I'll complain. Nope, oh, we're getting into the free picks. I'm going to take the Alabama-Tennessee under the 67 points. You're going to see a lot of the uh, pigeons here all flocking to this over. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be lots. I don't think so. I think Alabama's defense is going to turn it up here a notch. I think Tennessee's defense is going to turn it up a notch as much as they can. 67, I think, is just a little bit too high. I'm going to go Alabama-Tennessee under 67. I'm going to take the Arizona Wildcats here plus the 14 and a half. I, I like Washington. I like the Huskies. I just uh, it lost a couple in a row. I just think this number is just a little bit high for a competitive Arizona team. I can see them getting a garbage touchdown late to get us the cover. Then play number five here. I'm going to finish it off with the Hawaii Rainbows plus the six and a half. They are one of the worst teams, if not the worst team in college football. I'm sure they can uh, give Florida International a run for their money. But this is a lot of points for a Nevada team that are, that's not a road warrior. We saw Hawaii keep it competitive with San Diego State. A lot of distractions when you visit Hawaii. I'm going to take the points here with the rain, where rainbows to finish out the free pick day. Uh, now, now part of my fast five bit of baseball. You know what? I'm going to take the Guardians again today. I had uh, people messaging me about how I'm a Yankee hater. Uh, I don't. I don't hate or love any team. It's just uh, usually get good value fading the Yankees. Now they're on the road after dropping that one at home. Yankees, mediocre road team. I think they're about 500 on the road. Got Tristan McKenzie going for the Guardians. This is a chance here for Cleveland. There's no reason not to take them on the money line. They're begging you to take the Yankees. Give me the Guardians. I also received grief for taking the Braves yesterday because uh, Phillies are my hometown team, but I, I don't care where I'm at. I'm I'm trying to make money. I just thought the Braves were the better team uh, as far as free picks go. I took them today. I'll lean to the Phillies, I think, with Syndergaard on the mound. Charlie Morton, not that Syndergaard's an ace, but Morton hasn't looked himself all season long, never really turned it on. Phillies, tons of momentum. Why not take them on the money line? Uh, in hockey, I think the Flyers here are getting good value at home on the money line. I think the Pittsburgh Penguins might be the best free pick of the day in the NHL. I think they get it that 
the Tampa Bay betters love to get them plus money. I think you'll see a lot of Tampa Bay humpers out there. Uh, so I'm going to take Pittsburgh Penguins on the money line. Let me see, is there anything else I like out there off the top of my head? Boy, let me think here. Oh, that's about it. I gave you some extra freebies. So, guys, I appreciate everybody watching. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Got to get to 1,000. And do me a favor. Get on over. Get that titanium winner. My $15 best bet in college football. Uh, I'm on a 63% run on that long term. So it's definitely the best value in handicapping. Check that out. BigDogs.com. Catch you tomorrow.